Hi, I'm Michael. I'm the developer of Loopy Pro and I'm using this video series to answer questions and do a deep dive into features. Just a quick and easy one today. A question came in recently about controlling clips across a number of different pages with the same buttons. I thought I'd show you how to set up MIDI bindings so that you can address the clip on the current page only. I've set up a project here which just uses four clips across three pages, A, B, and C, and they're all identical. We'll set up the trusty blue board to bind each of the four buttons to each of the four clips so that they only address the clips that are on the current page. So we'll open MIDI Learn and then tap the first clip and then tap target at the top. So specific clip is what we want. At the moment, we've got the first clip on page A selected. That means that if we're on another page, it will still address that clip on page A. If we deselect that and then scroll all the way over to the right, you'll see there's an all pages section. Anything that you select here is gonna target the clip that's in the same position on whatever page you're currently on. So if I select one there and hit done, you'll notice the target now says current page clip one. So I'm just going to learn button A and we'll do it for the other clips as well. So turn off the one on A, turn on the one on all pages. It's important that you turn off the currently selected one first before you move on to the all pages thing because otherwise it will address both the clip on page A and the clip on the current page. So there we go, we've got current page clip one, current page clip two, current page clip three, and four. So I can press the trigger here to address a loop on this page, but then when I switch pages to say B, press it again, and now it's doing it on page B and on page C. And that's how you get a bit more use out of a limited number of buttons. I'll be back soon to talk about some more Loopy Pro stuff. Feel free to send questions my way.